Well, hello there. Let's get things straight. There's a way to go. There's still some things to come out in this case, 100%. Some of these things may shock us, surprise us. Some of them might not. This person could just turn out to be a nutcase, a lunatic, randomly picked some people or someone, something caught his eye and it led to what it did. That may not be the case. There may be something more to it, who knows, but certainly nothing that warranted him doing what he did. If, if he did it, because let's not, let's speak facts. He's not been proven guilty at this stage. He was arrested on a probable cause affidavit. So at the moment, he is still innocent as such because he's not been proven guilty. And there's a lot to go through. We still don't know if he worked alone. He obviously gave a nod to the fact he may not have been, but who knows? Some people have even said that he might have been there for another reason, turned up, found what he found, drove off. Maybe he was going to the property to get something and got there and found something else and left. But I'm sure it will all come out in the wash. But that's not the purpose of this video. I started touching on things in the live that I did, the short live yesterday, and that was apologies where they're due. And even though there are still some things that are definitely left to come out, there are some people who within this were pulled over the coals. The likes of Jack D, the ex. I think we do at this stage owe him an apology unless anything else comes out in the future on the contrary to that. But certainly he took some flack and that was... I wouldn't say it was avoidable because I don't think it does. I think that that's just the fact that because, sadly, he was an ex, they had recently split and so on and so forth, he just fell into that category of the most likely person to have committed this crime. Those of you who have been around the channel, you know a friend of mine was brutally murdered and it was the ex-partner who did it. So that's kind of a default to go to that. And unless you have evidence that supports something else further, then you kind of default to that. But it isn't fair. And he was holed over the coals. And I can only now start to imagine how this guy feels and the emotions he must be going through after this arrest, especially if he knows this guy or he knows of the connection. Um, if there is indeed one, which I do feel that there is going to be one. Kaylee's father has given a nod to the fact that he believes there is one. And it's a difficult one. Hoodie guy. Hoodie guy, in hindsight, it would appear that hoodie guy was just being a decent person. He was just walking these girls and talking with them. And it was us, I, I guess... It's like what I just talked about with Jack. What you try to do is you try to, I, I guess, find something that makes Jack not guilty. So you have to latch onto something else and try and see whether you can make that make more sense. And if it doesn't, you then try and put them together. Well, maybe they're working together and it spirals out of control. But Hoodie Guy was, was drawn into it because of the food truck video, the fact that that small snippet of information made him look nefarious that where it looked like Kaylee had turned and said you know swore at him but at the end of the day we was given a little bit and we filled all the gaps around it and again wrong hoodie guy was simply simply being a gentleman it would seem and I know people are going to be thinking, hold on, there's still a lot to come out. I get that. But as we had limited information, we re reacted off of that limited information in a negative way. We now have more information that enables us to analyze the situation a little bit more. And, and who knows, if things change down the line, 
then we will change down the line. We will have another discussion. But as things are at the moment, these two specifically got hold through the coals for nothing. We also have the girls inside the house, the surviving roommates. Now, there are still some things with the surviving roommates that sit a little bit uncomfortable with me because they heard nothing. Is that possible? It is. Is it likely? I don't know. But if I was in their shoes and I heard something, would I have done the same thing had I have been a young female? And I think I'd have hid my ass away and I wouldn't have made a sound. I definitely wouldn't have been getting involved. Um, so that's all I can say on that. But they were very, very lucky. And finally, law enforcement, Moscow PD. We have jumped on them, all over them, like a trampoline since the beginning of the case. They've seemingly put information out, span it around on its head, said something else, said something else. And look, in hindsight, they hadn't dealt with anything like this. With the media pressure, knowing that there was media speculation, thinking they could perhaps say something and then understanding that because they said something that everybody ran with it and turned it into something else is something difficult to navigate. And on top of that, the emotions of it, the, the, the other difficulties of trying to control the people that you're in charge of looking after, you know, the community itself, trying to not harm a case while simultaneously trying to make everybody know that they are safe without trying to give a nod to someone who you don't want them to know that you're on their tail. So you have to make it look like you're ignorant of what's gone on, I guess. And it would appear that they played things perfectly. Could they have done anything different? Could they have done anything better? Under the circumstances, probably not. Would a much more familiar office that deal with this, this sort of thing all the time, would they have handled things differently? Maybe they'd have tweaked things. Maybe they wouldn't have put information out right at the start that they would then have to contradict. But at the end of the day, they did what needed to be done and they got, we think they've got the person they needed to get but now their work begins so at the moment and i have to apologize for any ill feeling ill comments made against moscow pd they played it they got a guy and it would appear that he's at least one of the people that we're looking for it's now whether there's another catch you all in the next one